Hey guys, in today's video, we'll look at how we can transfer files between a Windows 11 machine and a, an Ubuntu Linux machine. So this is the Windows 11 machine and this is the Ubuntu Linux machine. Let me go ahead and log in. Now on the Ubuntu Linux machine, we'll need to ensure that we have SSH installed and it's uh, running. And on the Windows 11 machine, we'll need WinSCP that's what will enable us to transfer files securely using SSH. Now let me go ahead and open the terminal on this Ubuntu Linux machine. So I can right click and open terminal. Now what we need to do here is we need to check that we have SSH installed and it's running. So I'll run the command systemctl status SSH, SSH. And in our case here we see that it's uh, inactive but it's installed. Now to enable it uh, or to start it we can do sudo system system ctl start ssh put in the password and rerun the command system ctl status ssh and now it's active and running now in case you didn't have ssh installed the command to do the install is gonna be sudo apt install install open ssh server that's the command for installing ssh the other thing we'll need on this ubuntu linux machine is the ip address we can do ip address here and the ip address is 172.16.1.105 this is the ip address we'll need to input on the windows 11 device so let's go to windows 11 and like i said here we need to download winscp that allows us to use SSH to transfer files between the two machines. So we'll open a browser and then what we'll do is we'll search for WinSCP download. So let's Google for WinSCP download and uh, we'll go to the WinSCP.net site. Now at, the, at this site there's this link to do the download so click on the link and the download should begin and it's a quick download it's already done let's go ahead and uh, open the file explorer and then go to by default it should be downloaded to your downloads folder so this is the file right here let me go ahead and delete one of these files Now to install it, just double click on the file. And then install for all users is fine. Click yes. Accept. Typical installation. Next. Next. Install. and the installation is complete click finish and there's the icon I'll go ahead and open WinSCP so we can even search for it here so let's open the app and this is the app right here now for us in order for us to connect to the Ubuntu Linux machine we'll need like I said earlier you need the IP address as the host name so 172 16.1.105 was the IP address. The port for SSH is 22, and this is the protocol we're using by default secure F FTP. You'll need a username on that Ubuntu Linux machine and the password. This will allow us to connect to that device. You can save this connection, or you can just click login, accept, and as you can see, there's two windows here one is showing or listing the directories that are on the ubuntu linux machine right here and one is listing the files or the folders on this windows 11 device now you can navigate for instance we can go to downloads to see what's on the downloads folder and same thing here you can navigate right now it's pointing to one drive you can go to say downloads 
and you can see you can see even the win scp file we downloaded is listed here now when it comes to transferring files between the two all you have to do is select a file and then drag and drop it for instance if i wanted to copy or transfer this text file from the windows 11 device to the ubuntu linux device i just determine what folder i want to move it to let's say i want to put it on the desktop i'll just select it drag and drop it here click ok and now if i go to this device ubuntu linux and if i cd to the desktop i do ls and that's the file right there now we can go in the other direction we can also transfer from the Ubuntu Linux device to the Windows 11 device. As you can see on the home directory here, we have these two files. If you wanted to, let's say, transfer this file, I can grab, I can select it, then drag and drop it over to this device. And it should be on this device now right here. Under downloads, if I open File Explorer, and there's the file right there that we just transferred from the Ubuntu Linux machine to the Windows 11 machine. So that's all for this video. That's how you can easily transfer between your Windows 11 device and the Ubuntu Linux machine. So I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.